hello in this tutorial i'll show you how you can easily color grade in capture one so this is going to be a capture one color grading tutorial i don't know how many times i'm going to emphasize this but this is a capture one color grading tutorial for those that always ask me in the comment section as if they don't pay attention to reading the titles and listening more about the software i'm using i'm using capture one 21 for this kind of tutorial so I'll show you how you can easily color grade your outdoor images and you get the best out of them and make your images pop easily using Capture One. So right now I'm in my Capture One 21 interface and my interface looks the way like it is right now because I prefer to work on an interface that looks more like the Lightroom interface and I prefer to have my adjustments on the right hand side. So alternatively, if I told you'd love yours to look like mine you can simply come to window workspace and you come down to migration and you'll have your capture one looking like mine in this case so like in photoshop capture one also has layers so you're just going to be using those layers first of all correct the lighting issues within the image and we retain back the information within the sky right here and the water in the background so in order to do that we're just going to come and we create a new field adjustment layer so you right click on this plus icon and it's going to create a new field adjustment layer you're just going to come to the highlights and take the highlights down and you're also going to take the whites down so what this does it gets back the information and adds a little bit of contrast within the blown out highlights in the image remember this is a raw file taken using my canon 6d camera and I shot it at a shutter speed of 500th of a second and ISO 100. So if at all you feel like you want to get back more of the information right here, you can come and simply create another. So you right click and create another new field adjustment layer. And you can take this even higher by doubling the highlight reduction option within your capture. One. And you can see we have gotten back most of the information. And let me show you a quick before and after before we proceed just look at the before and after you have just gotten back that nice and rich detail within the background right there so after doing that i'm just going to turn off the before and after so the next thing we are going to do let's add a little bit of contrast to our image then we add a slight bit of clarity to around four so i won't tamper with the shadows because the image really doesn't have too much of the shadows so I'm just going to come to my levels and simply drag in my blacks to add that nice and rich contrast within the image just like that. And that is going to make the image a little bit more contrasty. So after that, I'm going to do the color grading on a way separate layer. The reason for this is because if at all I want to reduce on the amount of color grading that I may have added onto the image, I can simply come to the individual color grading layer and i play around with the opacity and reduce or increase the opacity from this option right here so i'm just going to come and simply right click and create a new field adjustment layer and i'm going to rename it to color grade so that you don't get confused along the way so what i'm going to do for the first case i'm just going to make sure or ensure that i am getting uniform skin tones in the image you can see we have varying skin color you can see we have magentas on the hand then the face has a little bit more of the oranges and yellows and right here we have different colors so that is what one first of all correct in this very image so i'm just going to scroll all the way down and if at all you're missing any adjustment within your capture one you can come and simply right click on this right hand side or whichever option has your adjustments and right click on it and come to add tool and add whichever tool you're missing within your capture one so i'm just going to come down here where it says color editor and under color editor we have basic advanced and skin tone so for this case i'm just going to first of all handle the skin tones because i want to correct the skin imbalances or the skin color imbalances within this very image so I'm just going to dive straight to the skin tone option and click on it. And as soon as I click on it, it's going to turn orange and come and get my color picker tool or eyedropper tool. 
So as soon as I left click on it, it is going to also become orange in color, meaning it is now activated. So I have to zoom in the image and I look for the area I want the rest of the skin to look like. So you have to zoom in and look for that area that you want to be balanced or to be a reference point for the rest of the skin color in the photo. So I'm just going to use the space bar and left click to hover around and move around and look for that color. And for this case, I feel like I want the skin to I'm just going to make it look like the face because the hands are a little bit off. So I'm just going to sample anywhere around the face and just get that. So as soon as I click on it, you can see it gives me a color range within this area or the range in which the color I've just sampled. So this color that I've sampled contains some yellows, oranges, reds, magentas. So that is what we want to do. So in order to see this quite better, you can scroll all the way down and you can turn on the view selected color range. And as soon as you click on it, it's going to show you the range or it is going to desaturate the rest of the colors that, that, that don't fall in that sampled color range. And you can see the blues are not part of the area I sampled on the skin. That is why it has turned them into black and white. So this helps me to also eliminate this. And in order to eliminate or you don't want to color grade this or change it because it is falling within the colors of the skin tone. You come back right here with the view selected color range option selected or checked. Just come back to this skin tone pie shaped area and simply left click and you drag it out of that. And as you can see, it has now taken it out from the dress of a model and part of the lipstick and the eyeshadow area. So after doing that, we're just going to come back to the view selected color range option and simply uncheck it. So right now it is time to balance and get uniform skin color for our model. So we come to uniformity and I'm just going to zoom in slightly so that you can see everything. So we are going to come to uniformity and start dragging this hue slide that was the right hand side. And as we are doing that, you're going to notice, let me zoom in a little bit more. You're going to notice that the hand is going to start looking like the face area that we sampled. So I'm just going to take this up. And also come to the saturation and simply take that up. And that is going to make the skin look a little bit better and balanced for this case. And it's going to also eliminate the oranges that were within the skin because we are trying to balance the skin to look like this very area. And this looks okay. And we have just gotten rid of the yellows that were within the skin. So I'm just going to take it a little bit higher. And after doing that, when you feel like you have desaturated the skin tone, you have the option which says amount. So you can come to your amount slider and simply take up the saturation. And that is going to make the skin pop a little bit more. But in this case, we have already made the skin look really nice and even. And the face and the hands are really matching in this case. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to come to where it says you. So when you come to the amount, option and under the hues you can either add or make the face look a little bit more on the magenta side or you can add more greens to your skin tone so for example if i told i take the hues towards the left hand side that is going to add magentas within the skin tone and taking it towards the right hand side is going to add greens into the skin tone of our model so for this case i'm just going to take it towards the green side slightly and that is going to make the skin look a little bit better and now you can see that the skin is now looking a little bit better and more uniform so i'm just going to use ctrl command minus to zoom out so the next, the next thing after dealing with the skin tone i want the blues to pop a little bit more and in order to make them pop i'm just going to come to where it says basic and i'm going to simply come to since the blues are part of the blue color so come to the basic and click on the blues so you can come and take the saturation of the blues high or up and that is going to add on the saturation and make the blues pop and it's going to complement the image in this case and when you feel like it is too much you can take down the saturation and come and play around with the lightness values and that is going to make the blue color 
a little bit darker or lighter so i'm just going to take that down slightly and that looks great for my liking and i'm okay with it so anything you can play around with is your color balance and under color balance we have shadow mid-tone and highlight and in this case if at all you want to add a given color for example you want to add maybe a little bit of the science to your mid-tones you can do that by simply dragging this towards the cyan side and the more you take this towards the left hand side or towards the circumference of this circle it is going to add or make the intensity of that color a little bit too much and taking it towards the center is going to reduce on the intensity of that color so you can reset by double clicking on the circle and it's going to go back towards the middle so for this case i just want to add a slight bit of blues or science to my shadows just like that and that is going to help me cool down the image a little bit so that is okay for my liking so we are now done working on the image and let's look at a quick before and after for this case so let's just look at the before and after so this was the image before and this is what we have right now before and after you can see that we have not altered the color of the dress of the model so the next thing we can do you can come back if at all you feel like you have messed up the makeup or the original lipstick color of your subjects during the color grading process you can zoom all the way in and with the color grading layer selected you can come and simply get your eraser tool and reduce on the size and simply paint over the colors you did not want to intend or the colors you didn't want to change in the image and simply paint on them or you can simply turn on a mask and simply paint over the areas you don't want or you didn't want color grade uh, in the image so when you press M, it's going to show you where you're eliminating a given color from your photos or your images as you're erasing uh, it from uh, the image so basically this is what you have to understand when it comes to color grading using capture one so this is it for today's tutorial and when you're done eliminating, you can press M once again and it's going to hide that mask. So when you're done color grading, you'd want to take your image into Photoshop to do a skin retouching and final adjustments on it. So basically, this is it for this tutorial. And if at all you love this, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not a subscriber yet to this channel, Ronix, and this has been a tutorial about how to color grade in capture one so this is it and i'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing if at all you want to be better and i'll see you in the next one